What's up, vlog? So, this Friday, we're doing our first episode of Local Finds with Sean Diddy, who has worked for uh, television things such as like QVC and those kind of like uh, network and internet uh, shows where they sell products. And we were doing that with local stuff around Iowa is what her idea is, where she's gonna kind of do that QVC style show, but in our studio. Um, so I've been tasked with the job of designing the set for that studio, which I'm super excited for, and I figured I'd take you along with that process. So we're gonna turn our studio that normally just does white wall photography, simple video stuff, into a QVC style set. So, uh, the first thing we need to do though is, we need to clean up a bit. There's a lot of stuff in this spot, so. We're gonna clean it up and I'll see ya. I'll see you then. Yeah, do it for the love. Alrighty, we have the space. Cleaned. This is kind of the angle we're going to be shooting from. Uh, we're going to be shooting into that corner to give us a little bit extra depth, uh, get some space, and then this window right here will give it a little bit more of a homey vibe. Uh, so now is the process of bringing in the set dressing. So that should be fun. I think Zach mentioned a Christmas tree somewhere, so might try to dig that one out. Christmas tree, I think is what he said. It's probably gonna be in this back closet. Look what I found. The office is gonna look like a house. important to cover every aspect of set dressing, you know. You got this window sill that's probably gonna be in the shot, so we should definitely have something to make it look like part of the scene, as well as some additional little trinkets that fit the mood. Um, I really want a rug, in all honesty. Uh, I might see if Zach and Sam have one to bring, because that would add a lot to this. Cool. Oh, is this up? What's up? Is this thing yeah. on? What's up? Is this thing on? Hello, hello. Hello, testing. Test one, two. Yeah. <laughs> this is between two beards, and we're back. <laughs> now, I haven't actually done a vlog update in like a long time. Like, play against, oh, whoops. You know, the problem. But hey, what's up, vlog? We're uh, headed back to Pretty Good Co. Uh, if you saw one of our past episodes, you know we were there. We're doing a quick reshoot of a section that we're there, as happens sometimes with. Uh, with videos and when you get feedback from clients sometimes they want to change things here and there or sometimes they want to do things or add things so that's in this case we're going back to refilm a seg uh, segment and change a few things there uh, on request by the client that we're working with um, always happy to be uh, you know available to do that you know we want in the end to have a product that our clients can be satisfied and happy with honestly that's like our end goal is you know uh, I mean, it's great when we're happy about a product too. Like that's like even better. But at the end of the day, it's uh, you know what the client wants is you know what we strive for. I guess. God, this sounds so businessy when I say it, but you get what I mean. Uh, anyway, so we're headed back there now. I'm rocking my new Adobe Mask. 
Ma Max mask? Adobe Max? Adobe Max mask. Adobe Max mask. Sponsored that, by, yeah. Not sponsored <laughs> by Adobe, but provided by Adobe Max. Uh, say that three times. Yeah, no, they uh, they were giving out some some swag. Um, so we got we all got masks, and it's pretty cool. Like it looks it looks cool. It's like the coolest looking mask that I have right now, and it's very comfortable. So we'll catch you on the flip side when we get there. Um, and yeah, we're on it. Sorry, we're gonna be filming for like 20 minutes max um so we'll catch you on the flip side of it though whoops uh so what's up vlog that literally took us like 17 minutes to get in and out and uh reshoot that clip that we needed to shoot so shout out to pretty good co for letting us take up their time again for uh to get that little last thing perfected that we wanted to do and um Thank you to Jacqueline again for doing great work on the hosting end as again as well. Uh, so now we're headed back to the office. Um, I'm gonna plug in that that last clip that we got and add that to the timeline of that thing and do a couple other things the rest of the day. But then uh, it's break time after after today. I'm. I mean tomorrow's oh, that's not true. tomorrow's Thanksgiving and then Friday Zach and Noah have like a small thing, but I'm gonna be out of town, so I will not be there for that. But it's. A nice little break here that we uh, get to stay home and be safe is 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 what I'm going to be doing at least. So yeah, fun stuff. I've got I've gotten a lot better at leaving my phone on my desk when I'm at the house and like not carrying it around the house with me. Um, that's definitely helped. Mm -hmm. uh with me not like while I'm wa walking up and down the stairs pulling my phone out to just check something like those those little micro times that you think it's just you checking turn into 20 minutes turn into 30 minutes of consumption and that's where the balance really starts to get out of whack is because um when you mentally made that decision to make a quick check of your email or a a quick look at your notifications on social media, it do, it's never just that because you always see something or read something that you dig further into. Mm -hmm. And it goes from being a 30 second check of your notifications to 20 minutes of scrolling through Facebook or digging deeper into that article that you found uh, in that first 30 seconds. Yeah, so shameless plug for The Social Dilemma on Netflix. That's a great show that talks about this point exactly. And then after you watch it, there is a podcast right here on Raisin Brand that talks about that with uh, myself, Zach, and then Trinity, who writes, and she has a blog where she talks about um, mental health and marketing. So shameless plug there, but would be probably the best, I'm trying to remember how long The Social Dilemma is, the best hour and a half, two hours of your life. Oh, Very yeah, no, it's... It's really good. Um, and I think that that's what they talk about is one of the biggest contributors to getting people out of balance with their work life. I ain't in it for the money. I ain't in it for the fame. I ain't in it for the accolades. Trying to tell me what a vision of the riches and the women. I ain't waiting. Tell them not today. Try to separate the crew, but the truth is it did it. Got the same vision, so you know we stay winning. Some of y'all chasing recognition. Not me. I do it for the love, yeah. 